Hello friends, welcome to arpitakarwa.com, India's finest online coaching for UGC net preparation. Now friends, in the last lecture, we studied conversion from binary to decimal. We have already covered the basics of computer. So today, we are going to cover the hardware and software of computers. In section 1, we shall cover hardware. Section 2, we shall cover software and its three types that are system software, application software and system utilities. In section 3, 4 and 5, we shall cover system software further divided into two types with operating system and device drivers. Then in section 6, we will cover application software and finally in section 7, we shall cover system utilities. So let us begin. Friends, let's start with hardware. Now a computer system consists of two major elements that is hardware and software. Friends, hardware includes all the components of the computers that you can touch with your hands. In a way, hardware includes tangible items which can be physically touched or seen and it is required for a computer to function. Now computer hardware can be classified as internal or external which relates to the placement of the physical part in or around the device. Generally speaking, internal hardware is required for the computer to run while external hardware enhances the use or functionality. Now examples of internal computer hardware may include a video card, memory or a code processing unit that is a CPU. While on the other hand, external computer hardware examples include a keyboard or a computer case. These include keyboard, mouse, monitor, printer etc. Friends, Next topic is software. Now as the name suggests, these are components of a computer that you cannot touch. In a way, software is a set of instructions for a computer to perform specific operations. Software runs in conjunction with hardware to complement the workings of a computer system. Without either of these components, a computer would not be able to function. Now, there are three types of software, namely system software, application software and system utilities. Friends, let us first talk about system software. Their purpose is to control, integrate and manage the individual hardware components of a computer. System software coordinates the activities and functions of hardware and software and it controls the operations of computer hardware. A computer's operating system is an example of system software. Operating systems control the computer hardware and act as an interface with application programs. It is further divided into two types that is operating system and device drivers. We will study them individually in different sections of this lecture. Let's now first talk about operating systems. Now friends, the operating system includes those programs which help in communicating between the user and the computer hardware. It performs all the internal operations of the computer-like functions like disk access, memory management, task scheduling and user interfacing. It also ensures systematic proper functioning of a computer system. Matlab, aapka computer kaise kaam kar raha hai, wo operating system dhang se ensure karta hai. Examples of operating systems are Windows XP, Windows 10, MS-DOS, Unix, Linux, etc. Now friends, the next type of system software is device drivers. Now whatever hardware you are using on your computer, let us say a mouse or a keyboard or a printer, they all have a special program to run it. This program is called a device driver. 
Device drivers just have one job and that is to ensure that the connected hardware is working properly. So basically a device driver is a computer program that controls a particular device that is connected to your computer. Typical devices are keyboards, printers, scanners, digital cameras and external storage devices. Each of these need a driver in order to work properly. Now device drivers act as a translator between the operating system of the computer and the device connected to it. For many types of devices, the necessary drivers are built into the operating system. When you plug in a device, the operating system starts looking for the right driver, then installs it and you are ready to start using the device. This is referred to as plug and play and is much preferred over having to manually install the correct drivers. There are so many different devices, however, that not all of them are built into the operating system. Now, as an alternative, the operating system can look online to find the right drivers to install. Many hardware devices, however, come with the necessary drivers. For example, if you buy a printer, it may come with a CD that typically will include the correct driver. The advantage of this is that the hardware manufacturer can make sure that you have the right driver for the printer. Now friends, one thing to note here. Linker and loader are the two types of device drivers. Do remember this for your exam purpose. Moving on, we are done with the system software. So friends, we learned that they are used to run the computer properly. Now, the next category is application software. So tell me, application ko short me kya bolenge? The answer is app. And hum apps use karte hai apne phone me bohat sari. Similarly, ye apps computer me bhi hoti hai, jaise ki Microsoft Word, Paint, Microsoft Presentation, etc. Now, these are called end-user programs. Why? Well, because the person working on the computer uses them. These programs are not helping in the functioning of the computer, but helping the user to perform a desired task. That's why they are called end-user programs. Now, application software are divided into two categories. General purpose software which are very generic software like MS Word, MS Excel, Paint, etc. And the second category is specific purpose software, which is used by a specific group of people. I will give you an example here. A lot of you must be working in companies. You'd have seen companies maintain software for payroll, for processing salary and for attendance. Those types of software are called Specific Purpose Software Now friends, let's come to the last category of software. These are called System Utilities. These programs are very small tasks which are loaded into the computer when they are being installed in your home or office. Now their task is to ensure the maintenance of the computer system. Examples include disk compression, disk fragmenters, backup utilities, disk cleaners, antivirus programs, etc. Now, antivirus software is the best example to understand system utilities. Antivirus software, as the name suggests, helps to protect a computer system from viruses and other harmful programs. A computer virus is a computer program that can cause damage to a computer software, hardware or data. Now, it is referred to as a virus because it has the capability to replicate itself and hide inside other computer files. One of the most common ways to get a virus is to download a file from the internet. Now, antivirus software scans your online activity 
to make sure you are not downloading infected files. New viruses are coming out all the time. So antivirus software needs to be updated very frequently. Now, backup utility is another utility software which helps in the creation of a backup of the files on your computer. Most computer systems use a hard disk drive for storage. Now, while these are generally very robust, they can fail or crash, resulting in costly data loss. Backup software helps you copy the most important files to another storage device, such as an external hard disk. You can also make an exact copy of your hard disk. That's it from my side for this lecture. We will meet soon in the next lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.